Hello, my fellow wizards. My name is Mitch Mage, and welcome to Midsummer Night. Um, by Everlasting Fantasy, I believe. Uh, yeah. Here, there's their webpage. I think it's an adventure game or something. Thank you guys for giving it to me. Um, I'm gonna play it. Let's do it. Uh huh. Okay. I like the pixelated tree. It's very nice. Alright, Vladimir. From here, you just walk straight north through the woods. You'll find that dugout soon enough. Understood. Thank you, Pavel Ivanik. Ivanik, uh, you'll find out more in the leaflet. Go on now. I ain't got time to chat. Uh, lots of stuff to do. I'll meet you here in the evening. Alright. You, did you just like turn in a 360? Briefing. You've got a beard, Ova, but I see you. A sister. Uh, you know little of the countryside, so I'll tell you briefly how to how you should behave. What? Yourself in the forest and field. Oh. Who is this guy? Just some guy talking to me or what? If you want to go straight, press up arrow, back down arrow. If you need to turn left or right, press the left. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you don't want to listen to nature sounds, perhaps you're used to the city noises. Press escape and choose the icon that turns the music off. Self-explanatory. Here, and if you choose it, you'll leave the forest in an instant. Don't, li don't worry, if you want to continue your expedition later, go to the main menu and choose continue, and you'll start from the place where you finished last time. Your journey is automatically saved. That's all for now. When you reach the dugout, unfold my note once again, and I'll tell you something else. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Nice pixel art and stuff. What? Am I? What, what am I doing? Like, am I just gonna walk north? Is this a walking simulator or what? Q I E. What? I? What? What does he... I think Q tells you what it is? I didn't look at any of the controls. Just a stone, nothing special. I think E picks it up? And then it goes into my inventory? Choose the mouse. Oh. E, or I, seems to be like a... I don't play a bunch of uh, adventure games, so I, this is probably I'm probably not going to be able to finish this because I suck at puzzles so much. Uh, what's this? Fragrance Calvinial. Okay. Here's one more thing I wanted to tell you, Bulva. Why? There are some things in our neck of the woods that may be a maybe a lifeless stone or somebody alive that you can interact with. Start a conversation, pick something up, or learn a bit about them. They're called, if I remember correctly, interactive objects. You'll have Vova. Is my name? My name's Vova, huh? Why do you keep saying that? Two ways of interacting with them. The first one is examine. Okay, got that. E is interact. Got it. There's one way. If you see something useful on your way, make sure to keep it. You may be able to use this later in a situation. Suitable situation. In order to use it, you need to press I. Okay. Understandable. That's all I want to tell you. P.S. Don't worry if you forgot something. You can read these instructions again. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Is this a door? That's my job. Achievement unlocked. Oh, my bones. My bones. That's very ominous. Ooh. Greetings? Old man, an old man, old face comes out of the human shadow. Oh boy, where did you come from, my darling? I'm an anthropologist from the City Research Institute. I study folklore elements, folk tales, proverbs, traditions. Why did you come to my place? I've been told a tale that once in this forest happened something very mysterious. Under murky circumstances, children disappeared and villagers looked for, for them for a long time. One sec. Mountain Dew break. They never found them, and nobody ever saw them again. I've been told that you are the one who remembers and tells this tale better than anybody else. 
Oh, my little boy, if you had come here three years ago, it might have gone better. Now my memory has faded almost completely. I am ready to go get onto the sleigh and head for the forest. Well, Pavel Av Ivanok Ivanovich. Okay, Pavel Ivan Ivanovich told me that you told me you remember. That old devil can't keep a still tongue in his head. When, we when will he remember to return my hay fork? So what exactly happened here? Oh, my dear, all that is just fairy tales for kids. Why would you listen to them? You're a grown-up. That's kind of my job. What a nice job. It's not splitting logs. Well, come into my mud house. I'll make some herbal teas. It's a long story. I'm free till evening. You should have kept silent. I can see through you. Instead of plowing and sewing, you just wander in the woods drinking tea. <laughs> oh, is it not going to actually show the inside? Or what? Oh, the stories people tell. The stories centuries old. Now listen. A long, long time ago, so long you wouldn't know then, there was a village in the forest not far from here. There lived folk, kind and friendly. Everyone, everybody knew each other and everybody helped each other. And on the village edge, in a little hut, lived two orphans, a sister and a brother. The boy's name was Clem and the girl's... Alyanushka. Alyanushka. Okay. Are these... This is all Russian, isn't it? What lovely kids they were. The boy, though young of age, had gifted hands any master craftsman would envy. The girl was clever with her needle and a true beauty. And so one day, on the eve of the great midsummer night feast, well, what is that? What? Midsummer night. Ebana Kiriana. I don't think that's what it actually said. I think those are runes of like... Not Russian, like, what? Maybe it was Russian words. I don't know. I don't know Russian. Whoa. Look at my, look at my sleeves. <laughs> look at this animation. I'm just flip-flopping all around. Okay. Wait. A bridge bark note. Left early, my friends and I want twine wreaths of flowers for the evening. We'll be culling flowers in the meadow by the forest's edge. Meet us there before the feast. A crust and a jug of fresh milk are on the table. Thank Alanushka. A jug of fresh milk. Ooh. Dude, you're chugging it. Yummy indeed. I've already eaten and drunk everything. Cool. All right, I guess we're going on the path. He, uh, whoever that was, Alanushka wants me to get like, oh, I like how the grass goes down. That's cool. Wants me to get flowers? No, no, they said they were doing flowers. Okay. All right. Ooh, a bunny. The hare is enjoying itself. It's definitely happy. Don't disturb it. Fluffy bunny. Hard to tell about its properties when I don't know what kind of flower it is. Oh, man, kid, you're useless. Not now. No mushroom right now? Why? I want mushroom. Mushrooms are good for the soul. They make you see things that you never do. A shrill girl's scream got heard in the middle side. Ah, what is that? Oh, crap, I pressed enter too fast. My bad. Wait, is that up here? Alanushka's friends, they're scared to death. Oh, God. Smyana. She's in tears. It seems talking to her now will get me nowhere. <laughs> really? Whoa. Alanushka, Alanushka. Zaglad, Zaglada. Wow. Smyana, Zaglada, what happened? Clem, such a misfortune. What happened? Where's Alanushka? A beast has... Taken her far away. Klim, right into the forest. Wipes her face with the sleeve. Smyana and I were picking up flowers, and Alnushka was looking at the, looking at a blue cornflower that grew nearby. Sobbing. So she ran there, but as she, as she picked up the flower, the forest started to move. The trees were breaking, and then a huge beast appeared and grabbed, grabbed her? 
Before we knew it, the beast had taken Anushka with it and disappeared. There, well, there, pointing at the forest. In the bosom of the forest. You girls run to the village and tell everyone that Alanushka has disappeared. I'll go to the forest and follow this beast. I'll try to catch up with him before the dusk. Yes! Adventure! Cornflower. Cornflakes. My sister's favorite flower. After we save her, I'll gather a whole bunch of these. That's what. That's the flower that they were... Oh, it's a beast? It looks like bear paw print. Wait, what? Footprints of a giant beast. Never seen anything like them. Anything like them. They're bear. It's a bear, dude. No passage here. No passage here. Okay. Did I go the right way? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Does that tree have an eye on it? Pow. No peeping. An eye constantly watching me. This must... What? This must be the famous one-eyed Lico. A fright from the children's tales. Okay. Wow. Is this real? Oh, it's cool. A viper. Ouch, it's bitten me. Um, that's probably a bad thing. Like, am I gonna die? I'm feeling bad. The snake's venom has... Well, I'm lucky because this meadow grows a lot of herbs. I can use it to get an antidote. <laughs> Though there are lots of useless weeds as well. Let's do it, th do it this way. I'll show you the herbs that can help against the venom. Your task is to pick them up. To pick up a plant, press the key. Important point, you should pick them up in the exact order that I'll show you. Please concentrate. We have little time. In a minute, the venom will spread throughout the body. I don't want to die at the beginning of the journey. You're kind of breaking the fourth wall, bud. I'm ready. Okay. I can do that. No luck. Did I just die? I'm a goner. Luckily, it's a computer game, so you can try again. Oh, I thought I got the right ones. Okay, let's do it again. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, it just made it super easy for me. Huh, 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 huh. Phew, I feel much better now. Thanks. Let's continue our journey. Thanks for breaking the fourth wall. Achievement unlocked power of the herbs. Um, game saved. Uh, okay. There's another peeper. I'll punch him in the eye. Unauthorized eyes. Yeah, damn right, unauthorized. A tree can't peep at me. That's not... It's creepy. Why would I need that? There's a couple of sticks taken out of the ground. Who left them here, and I wonder why. Uh, let's go down. Ooh. I'm going to overstrain myself. I should not be... I shall not be... Still not be able to push this car an inch. It's a broken cart. Small chest on the ground and open. Bright textiles are shattered all over the place, and everything is covered with colorful shatters. Fragment camera meal. Hmm. Hmm. A wagon. A flattened frog. Apparently, she got under the wheels. Oh, I can't go past this? Nope. Okay. Okay. Let's go left then. Uh, up. Left. <laughs> Where am I going? Me and my floppy arms. Look at me. What was that creek? Is that this tree? Dry cooked, crooked branches of this giant tree are bending and squeaks towards Clem. Sorry, another Mountain Dew break. It's talking to me, huh? Greeting, young man. Greetings. The tree looks at Clem with interest and continues. With you being here, young man, would you do me a favor? What kind of favor? I've been feeling bad lately. You may notice for yourself that the leaves have gone and the bark is rot. The reason behind this is the exhausting spring. It's life-giving water used to nourish my woods. I've been standing here since the creation of the world. Believe me, it was a long time. And it never happened before. The spring never dried out completely, even during the most severe drought. It would be so kind of you to ha find out what happened to the spring. Mighty Willow, I am sorry, but I'm afraid I can't help you now. 
My sister has disappeared. A huge beast took her away, and I am following his tra trails. Hmm, this situation does require immediate action. But if you find the solution to my problem, I will be much appreciated if you let me know. Of course. Yes. Bellflower or something. Hard to tell with this art. <laughs> what? Whoa, what is this? A pure magical spring used to run here, now it's ran dry. Freaking gnome. Okay, then. Alright. Let's go over here and see what's going on. What's up here? Nothing. A stone. Oh, what's this? Fluffy bunny. Okay. Anything down here? Okay, where do I go now? I've had enough. I've had enough of what? Like you drank some water? I thought it was dried up. He just goes up to him and goes, I've had enough of this crap. Talking trees and whatnot. He seems pretty uninterested in this crap. We have so much chamomile in the attic at home, we could survive the winter on it alone. Dang. I didn't know you... Oh yeah, I guess you can make chamomile tea and stuff, huh? Passage here. It's stone. Anything down here? I think it has to be a clear passage. What do I do now? Helpful in case of insomnia. Looks good in the garden as well. Okay. What do I do here? Maybe the things belong to the ordinary car. I have nothing to take here. Why would I need it? I won't be able to put it on, put it back by myself. It can only serve as a nest for a stork. Okay. Where do I, where do I go then? Doesn't make nothing. I don't think there's any other paths, is there? Cannot lift it. Why would I anyway? Judging by the frog's condition, she's been run over recently. The owner of the cart can be somewhere near here. Can I go down here? Nope. Alright, let's find out where to go then. A jolly old time. A what? Oh, what's this? Oh, I just went into it. Holy crap. Alright, I found a keen keen eye. Achievement unlocked. I thought it looked very ominous. Oh, this is kind of dark. Ooh. I do not have the strength to demand. Someone has constructed a dam here. Blocking the flow of the underground river. The water... Oh, okay. I understand now. I'm supposed to... Ooh. Hello there. What are you doing? What are you nosing out here, you brat? I'll beat the tar out of you. Leave him. But he'll tell everyone. Nothing to worry about. The king has already made a deal with the village head. And the people will only be glad to have cheap firewood for their stoves, fertilizers, and their household. And the job of collecting the peel, the peat, which the king will pay for gener very generously. You brat, I hope you haven't damaged our dam, or you'll drain the bog yourself. That's true, you better go away. Alright. Definitely going away. See ya. I'll go away from you guys. But I'm going to damage the bot. I got to damage it so I can save my Mr. Tree friend. Sorry, bud. Oh. Really? Do I need to get something to damage it? Oh, man. What now? I don't have anything, do I? Let me see. Hi there. You better go, kid. You don't have the strength. What is this? A sip of vitae, the life-giving water. This cannot be applied here. Maybe if I give that to the tree. Hmm. 
Oh, life-giving water. Maybe if I give it to the tree. Or, I think the frog, it says it's dead recently. Maybe I can give it to the frog? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I... Oh, crap, really? Clem sprinkles a bit of the life-giving water over the frog. Suddenly, it comes to life. When did I get the life water? Oh, I took I took it from the spring. I forgot. Suddenly, it comes to life. The frog looks at the boy with it joy in its eyes instead of the usual ribbit, says. Uh, that's kind of a creepy face of a frog. So, nice. Stretching as it is pleas pleasantly having a nap in the afternoon. What happened? Why are you staring at me with wise uh, wide... Eyes wide open. Did anyone die? Yes, you. What are you talking about? You were run over just an hour ago. You were lying here flat as a pancake. Narrowing its eyes. Oh yeah, now I remember. I was crawling to a neighboring swamp to visit my old friend. Toad Fanfutus. Toad Fanfutius. Fanfutius. Okay. Suddenly, something pressed, da pressed me down to the ground and everything went dark. Yes, it was that card over there. Didn't you see where its owner... It's owner go? Uh, that's not a weird. That's a weird sentence. Didn't you see where its owner went? The cart has blocked the road, and I can't pull it aside on my own. Before I lost my consciousness, and my mind sank into nothingness, I saw a man going towards my swamp. But as you mentioned before, you got trouble here. You can't move this cart aside, so you can't get there. Hmm. Yeah, I have to think. Okie dokie. Meanwhile, I want to sit here and croak and enjoy myself in the last rays of the warmth, the warm July sun that goes down over the horizon. Let's say recover myself. Having said that, the frog closes its eyes and gets a serene look.